Now that was start to finish terrible basketball out of the Timberwolves. On a night where the stars were already out, with Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo not playing in this one, Carl Anthony Towns on the Wolves' side, the other stars sure did not show up. And I'm upset with how all three of the Timberwolves ones played tonight. And we'll start with the ones that don't always get criticism in these videos. So Anthony Edwards, couldn't miss tonight. Jumper was incredible, scored at will. And we only get 16 shot attempts out of him. And a lot of that's probably the zone that Miami ran. It just kind of disrupts the flow of your offense. But we still got to see more. I mean, he had eight turnovers, completely careless through that one. Even worse was his backcourt mate in D'Angelo Russell tonight because he was just as sloppy, only putting up five turnovers, but being even more old than Anthony Edwards and was just terrible in his approach. And he didn't bring the shooting. There was even like a hitch in his jump shot, I felt like a lot of tonight. And we just cannot have them being that sloppy when we're still out Jordan McLaughlin. We're still out Kyle Anderson. And Jalen Noel is also in a slump right now. He's not even attacking the basket and his jump shot is completely absent. So we cannot have Anthony Edwards and D'Angelo Russell combining for 13 turnovers between the two of them. The Heat only had nine tonight as a team, by the way. And then that leads us to the third star on this team that's playing right now in Rudy Gobert, who got an MVP evaluation in his trade value from Tim Connolly our moronic puzzleeper. And that trade is just so absurd. I, it's hard to even make the case he should be a starter right now. Nas Reed's playing so well. The games that Nas has started, he's been absolutely killing it. Our team and our offense looks incredible. Nas also averages more blocks per 36 minutes than Gobert does. You watch him protect the rim. He's doing fantastic out there. That's not the case with Gobert. And it's not like there's any Tracy's he's going for Gobert anymore. I mean, he's not trying to fit in with Carl Anthony Towns playing with another center. Who, who's he going up against tonight? Jovich and Orlando Robinson, who gets a career-high rebounding and scoring night. These are the people he's getting outclassed by. The Heat have no size and paint presence when their two best paint presence players of Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo are playing, which they weren't tonight. And they get a season-high points in the paint scoring tonight as well. Rudy's not protecting the rim. He's just a walking turnover anytime you try to involve him in anything. And he's just the hardest basketball player to watch ever because he has zero skill. Uh, the two bright spots of that night, I mean, Jane McDaniels scoring well, Nas Reed scoring very well, being a weapon on the offensive end and protecting the rim. But at the end of the game, it's Jaden missing Nas to really seal the deal there. The Wolves are down three points with two and a half seconds left. They run an out-of-bounds play. Nas Reed does not have anyone on the same side of the court as him. He is in the corner, wide open for three, to tie the game. Jane McDaniels does not pass it to him. Literally no one on the same side of the court as Nas. The only defender that was maybe going to get over there fell down. That's how open he was. Does not happen in basketball. He doesn't get the ball. We lose. We fumble the ball. I think it was D'Lo maybe that got it at the end instead. I just saw the ball not go to Nas and just started to die inside. So yeah, terrible game, terrible loss, bad Miami team, uh, but worst Wolves team. We need our health, and uh, I that, that just hurt.